All right. Um, I thought I would just um, finish this tutorial probably, and um, by doing so, uh, f uh, fixing a little problem I had with um, the cube. Oh, not the cube. So the, the spheres. Um, God, I got this weird uh, exception. So if I pick these up and quit out, I get these errors, warnings reported while blah blah blah, saying that get center of mass something is not set. So the reason for this exception is that we have a um, we are in within um, reach of these spheres and we destroy them, but uh, destroying them doesn't really uh, remove them from our uh, in area of interactables. So in order for this not to throw in a, an exception, um, we actually need to um, introduce another check here. Uh, so I just need to move a little bit stuff over to the side to make room. Um, something like this. Maybe these should follow. Um, so before going into this one, I need to check. Okay, so this array element that I have in my my array, is that uh, valid anymore? Oops, sorry, not that one. Um, I'm going to get this one. Get uh, is valid. This one. So. So initially, I call this, and check if it's valid. Then we can get the end of the mass and blah blah blah. All this stuff, but if it's not valid anymore, I actually want to remove this. So um, I will call uh, take this one also and drag this up somewhere here and say remove item, and I will remove the item from in the interactables. Let's drag this one up so we don't get too mu too much spaghetti. And I see see I need. A bit more space, so um, not that one, uh, this one, and let's just make a little bit more space so it's not too cramped together. Okay, like this. So, uh, actually, when we have removed it, we do not want to do anything else. Mm. No, this one is just gonna end out here. Okay, so we just want to remove this one. So let's see if this makes any change. So gone, 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 and escape. So now we got rid of the the items. This is kind of a, a bit of a dirty trick, I think, because uh, we are actually in the middle of a for each loop and. In the middle of this, we remove items from within this same array. So, kind of uh, surprised that this works in uh, usual uh, for each loops in C sharp, for example. This would cause all kinds of trouble. So, this may also cause some problems later on. I don't know. But um, yeah, and while we're in here. Uh, after I made that last um, episode, I thought about something that I did, and I want to change that. Actually, this interactable struct, which has a dot and an interactable, it just occurred to me that I only use this uh, this struct inside my um, my uh, get best interact interaction um, function here. So, and I actually just use it um, to find one item so I don't need this struct really. So in order to clean this up a little bit uh, I actually think I'm gonna get rid of it. So yeah to, to start out with let, let me change this one um, to just give it a two because I want to use reuse this name. So current list interactable like this, and then we will make this uh, an interactable. Like this. So, and we also want to make uh, best dot product 
um, and make this uh, float and um, we can actually get rid of this and put this one in instead give it the same minus one so checking where we also have it um, we have it over here so we just instead of setting these in one set operation we replace this um, by um, making two set statements so this one we want to set and we want to set this one also so if this is true uh, we want to set both of these um, like this maybe I think so we want to drag all the way from the end of our for each loop and put it in this one and the dot product we want to get here that cleans up this part also hit down here we have this current best uh, dot product so we just plug this one in instead and I think we have it one more time yeah down here we're just using the best interactable um, so check this one get reconnected here to valid and reconnect it to this one like this all right so you can clean this up yourself a little bit but um, basically this uh, saves us from this having this um, this struct basically so because I don't really want to have something I don't absolutely need so interactable struct is now gone and it's saying it's been used somewhere in the base character maybe that's because I haven't compiled maybe let's check it again um, like this can I delete it now interactable struct delete gone save play so let's see if it still works it does seem to work and we can pick up all the cubes again we can still interact with our chair and sit in it and we don't get any exceptions so we are happy so um, this concludes this part of the tutorial and I decided actually to continue um, implementing Pick up in, uh, picking up weapons so this is going to be the next um, part of this series of tutorials so thank you for watching and remember to uh, vote and subscribe and don't, don't hesitate to ask questions if you have any right bye